this is about a 10 years old Samsung laptop with weak performance and not in a good condition. Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we're gonna make a few changes, few upgrades and give a new life on this Samsung laptop. This is a Samsung R518, released in 2009. This laptop has a dual-core Intel Pentium CPU. The GPU is AMD Radeon 4300 with 512 MB of video memory. The RAM is 2 GB DDR2 and the hard disk is 320 GB. But except low specs, this laptop is in a desperate condition. The first what I notice is, when I've tried to turn on this laptop, it won't start at first. Actually need a 6 to 10 attempts until it start up. It's obvious that this laptop has some hardware issue. The other things are, the entire case is full of scratches and small damages. The laptop is ultra dirty, from outside and from inside. While making the basic tests, the temperature is abnormally high and I think this laptop is never cleaned before. Also the keyboard is melted but still working. The hard disk life is almost at the end. I mean there is a lot of bad sectors on the disk and the disk is very slow. And this laptop is without a battery. Well, let's start and give a new life on this Samsung laptop. Because this laptop has problem to turn on, first I've started for searching and fixing this problem. This laptop is starting after 6 to 10 attempts. Sometimes it's turning off immediately, but sometimes before boot into the windows. So at first I think that this could be the RAM or some other issue, but actually is none of that. I've checked everything. And in the end, I've checked the charger. And it seems I found from where the problem is coming. The charger voltage is 17 volts only. And sometimes it's dropping more. But this laptop requests a 19 volts to work normally. After, I've tried with another charger and all is working just fine, without any issue. In this case, the laptop is good but the charger was that who causing the problem. Well, this was easy fix. Now everything is good and let's move on the other things. Now I will start with disassembling. I need to disassemble the entire laptop because this laptop needs detailed cleaning. And after I'm going to make a few changes and some upgrades.
Well, this is it. And now I will start with the display. First I will remove the display bezel and then I will clean the display. Well, to clean the display I will use a 96% alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol. But because this display is very dirty, I mix the alcohol with anti-static glass cleaner. This is great combination to clean some ultra dirty display. No matter laptop, TV or something other. Also to clean the display I will use a cotton buds, few very soft cleaning cloths and soft brushes. If you're going to clean some display then you need to be very careful and never put any kind of liquid on the display's edges. The display edges are very sensitive and if the liquid goes there then you may damage the entire display. If you're going to make something like this, I mean clean some display, be very careful. Well, this is how the display is looking after cleaning. All shine again. Well, now let's move on cleaning the display bezel and the laptop case. I have done this because everything needs to be perfectly clean because of the next modification. Well, now after finish with the bezel and the case, let's move on the keyboard. The keyboard is very dirty, but this is not a problem. The keyboard is very sensitive to clean also. And I must say the keyboard is the hardest part to clean on this laptop. Even small drops of any kind of liquid may damage the entire keyboard. I mean if the liquid passes to the inside between the keyboard electronic layers. So I need to be very careful to clean the keyboard from the outside and from the behind the buttons, but to not cause some damage. This process actually takes a couple of hours, but at the end the keyboard looks great again. The other plastic components that are without electronics I mean on the bottom case and some covers I wash it using soap and water. Actually this is the only way to clean it perfectly and make it shine again. Well after all is perfectly clean now let's move on the motherboard. From the motherboard first I will remove the cooling fan and the cooling pipe because I need to clean the cooling and then I will clean the motherboard and the CPU and the GPU. Now before I continue with some other things, first I tested a few different CPUs, because I want to upgrade the CPU. But unfortunately, none of the better ones that I have are working. Even I've tried a quarter to quad Q9000 that theoretically is supported, but unfortunately is not working with this model. So for now I will stay with Pentium T4400. Because in this case this CPU is better than the others that I have temporary. 
Well, after all is done, it's time to place the thermal paste and mold the cooling. Well, this is it. And this is all about the cleaning. Now let's move on some modifications. Because there is a lot of scratches over the case and the case is looking pretty bad, I've decided to stick some vinyl. But in this case, I'm going to make some combination. First, I will start with the display bezel. And over the bezel, I will stick black carbon vinyl. On the top case with a keyboard, I will stick a glossy yellow vinyl. This vinyl mostly is used on cars. It's very durable and it's hard to scratch. But now I will go with dry sticking, which actually is a little bit harder than with sticking. The top case on the laptop is flat and here I will go with wheat sticking. But previously I removed the display because to not cause some damage. Over the top side, over the spray mixture from water and liquid dish soap. This is very easy to make if you need. You need about 500 milliliters of clean water and few drops of liquid dish soap. And that's all. Now I will place the vinyl and using my old card I will carefully stick the vinyl and push out the air bubbles to the outside. Now after finish with the top side Carefully, I will stick the vinyl around the edges and the corners. Well, this is it. The vinyl looks good and it's without air bubbles. And as finish, on the back side, I will stick a Batman logo that I made from a black carbon vinyl. Well, now it's time to assemble this laptop and make some upgrades.
Well, the laptop is almost fully assembled, but before I put the last screws and fully assemble the laptop, I will do a three upgrades. First, I will upgrade the RAM. From 2 gigs DDR2, I will upgrade to 4 gigs DDR2. Also, this is the maximum what this model supports. The second upgrade is, instead using a hard disk, I will use a 256 gigs SSD. This will make the laptop running faster. And the final upgrade will be another disk. Instead CD-ROM, using a disk caddy, I will install an additional 500 gigs hard disk. So this laptop will have a two disks. The SSD will be for the operating system, I mean Windows, and the other, I mean hard disk, for data. Well, all is done. And now let's install the Windows. This laptop already has connected a Windows 7 Pro 64-bit license. And now, as Windows, I will install a Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. Actually, the Windows 7 license keys can be still used to activate Windows 10. Just after installing, I need to make online activation. After I installed the Windows 10, first I left the laptop connected to Internet because the Windows 10 will automatically install the drivers. And after all drivers are installed, I did online activation and the Windows was successfully activated. Now, after everything is done, let's move on the performance. Because this is a pretty old laptop, I cannot expect very much. But honestly, I was surprised by the performance. Windows 10 is working pretty fast and all basic stuff is working fine. Playing music or watching videos is going pretty smooth without some lags, like before. Web browsing is also far better than before. The web pages are loading much faster. And now I can play and watch 1080p videos. Before I can only play 480p or 720p with small lags. Now let's see how some games are performing. In gaming also I cannot expect a lot, but this laptop is great for some older games. I've tried to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I used full screen resolution and medium graphics. And the game is running pretty fine. In this game I got about a 24 to 38 FPS but most of the game is running with about a 30 to 31. Also didn't have any lags while gaming and the temperature is normal. Because I want to test this laptop more and see how far we'll go, I install a little bit newer and more heavy game, the Tomb Raider. This game requests a much better hardware, but using HD resolution and low graphics, this game can be played on this laptop. The Tomb Raider is running with mostly about 17 to 26 FPS, but without some lags, which is very impressive. The Tomb Raider has a low FPS on this laptop, but is fully playable. Well, this is all about this Samsung laptop. And basically, this laptop is good for basic things like watching videos, web browsing and all others, and playing some older games. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.